Ah, look at these little hungry boys. These are one of my favorite hog moths, the hummingbird hog moth well, from Asia. Well, I'm saying that wrong because its common name is not a hummingbird hog moth. It's called the coffee bean hog moth. Uh, scientific name safe for note is Hilas. Uh, some people also call it the pellucid hog moth. My English is not even good enough to understand what pellucid means. But it's really a beautiful and wonderful species. Just look at them. They look like little hummingbirds. So amazing. Uh, I was kind of hoping, hoping for their cocoons to go in hibernation mode though, but uh, they hatched too early, which is kind of sad. Because uh, it's getting winter here and I have no sunlight and host plant for them in winter. For me in summer they are very easy to breed, but in this time of the year it becomes very hard or almost impossible. Because I don't have, you know, a heat lump for them or something similar. I wish I had. Well, it's interesting they do seem to shed a lot of hairs here on the plate of honey water I prepared for them. So you can see here is basically moth hairs floating around. This is a very active species. So they're a little bit stupid. They will fly straight into, the, into their food, which is sticky because of the sugar and lose some scales. Uh, I was actually planning to make for next year a new setup where they can feed themselves from uh, fake flowers. But like I said, these hatch too early, so I think I should have kept the pupa cold earlier than I have now. I think these species, if you keep them warm, they are continuously brooded. And uh, they only hibernate if you put the pupa warm very early. So beautiful. Anyways, outdoors today, the temperature is like 7 degrees Celsius maximum, which is kind of cold. Not extremely cold, but winter is clearly coming very soon. So that's going to make it very difficult to me. Kind of concerning, to be honest, but... Um, I don't think I have much chance of breeding these guys, but I can give, can give them a good life. And I think if some of the pupa will still overwinter, I will try, I have many more. Then uh, maybe next year I'm going to film their life cycles. Bye bye, just a short video.